Hello. There you go. We are like, let's give a minute to get people in the chat. Hello, hello, everyone. Cassidy is here. Cassidy's here. I messaged the group. I told them all to uh. join. So we're doing a little earlier tonight, so people <laughs> are not going to be prepared. No, they're not. Oh, I should turn this music on. I think it's a little too loud. There we go. Okay, how are we looking? More than a couple people? You have three people. We have three people. Okay, well, we'll get started. Hopefully some people will join in a minute or two here. Okay, how are we looking? More than a couple <laughs> I joined to give you more views. Oh. <laughs> All right. I just gotta, yes, Cassidy, all the Slytherin vibes, because we are a Slytherin household. Okay, so, obviously, <laughs> as you guys can guess from the green and the music and what I'm wearing, so we're going to Universal Studios today for our cocktail corner. I'm not a Slytherin. I'm a Gryffindor. She's a Slytherin. But I don't have, I couldn't do the Gryffindor colors with the glow cubes, so we went with Slytherin. But I am not a, I am not a Slytherin. I will stand by that. Um. But yeah, how are we looking? A few more people in the chat? Uh, you have five people. Five people? All right, we're just going to get going on this then. Um, welcome, guys, to Cocktail Corner with BNX Steve. I, of course, am your host, BNX Steve. Um, here at Cocktail Corner, we serve up both drinks and looks. And so tonight, we are doing things a little bit different. We are leaving Disney World and all the Disney-style stuff, but we're going to actually head over to Universal Studios and the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So we'll show them the look here first. So I got my wand. Oh, there's a ghost over there. I got my wand. I got my Harry Potter shirt, Dangerous Wizard. And I got my lightning bolt scar on my head there. So I'm all set. I didn't have glasses or the full look. And I have actually an embarrassing lack of Harry Potter merch I find. I only have like two t-shirts and that's it. We have to get the Lego set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. That's even bigger than the castle. Um, but yeah, so let's go over to our cocktail here. So what we're going to make tonight is going to be butterbeer. Yay! Um, there's a ton of different recipes you can find online. Um, I was trying to find a recipe. They don't have an alcoholic version of butterbeer in Universal Studios Parks. They have the frozen butterbeer, the liquid butterbeer, and then the hot butterbeer. So we're gonna be kind of doing a combination of the frozen and liquid with alcohol involved. Um, so yeah, so there's gonna be a couple different parts to this. So I'm gonna walk through the ingredients we have here and how we're gonna make it. So we have our spice drum right here. We have our butter ripple schnapps. Um, this stuff is super weak. It's only 15% alcohol content, I believe. So this is like nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some cream soda here. We went out and we bought some Jones's cream soda because I wanted something a little bit higher quality than kind of your regular run of the mill. We have some butterscotch ripple ice cream. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to blend up the, um, the schnapps with the ice cream. And then we're going to mix the uh, pop with the rum in the glass and then we're going to add the ice cream and butter ripple to the top of it so you get that nice foam on the top i'm excited um that's the neatest idea we haven't tried this and that's not what any recipe calls for i'm kind of going i kind of took inspiration from a couple different recipes and we're mm -hmm. making this our own my favorite way to drink the butter beer is like the um soda way yeah like the fountain beverage way that's got the carbonation and stuff in it yeah well. i like that way yeah, because um, I, I was thinking about just blending it all together, um, but I feel like you would lose all the carbonation from the pop, and I'm not so yeah. sure about it that we way. We spent so. all this money on this, hunting for this Jones to blend well, we were it. Just we were just trying to find a single bottle of something nice, and we couldn't find any, so we bought a 12-pack of the Jones. Um, so I've seen recipes where this is made with root beer, and I've actually made it with root beer before, and I really enjoyed that. I haven't tried it with cream soda yet, um, but yeah. Let's just get, um, let's dive right into the drink here. So I'm gonna start with the blending of the ice cream and the butter ripple schnapps. We want Ooh. this to be a nice, like, foamy. Okay. That looks delicious. Let's do a little more ice cream. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna put ice in the cups? I wasn't planning on it. 
Mm, I think you should. This yeah. isn't quite cold. Cold enough. We got that in a little bit later than we would have liked in the fridge. Alrighty, so I'm gonna make this. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it all. <laughs> uh, triple. It's a little over two ounces. But again, this is 15% alcohol content. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty weak. Um, let's blend that for a minute and see how that looks. I didn't want this to be like a milkshake consistency. I wanted it to kind of be... It just looks like kind of cream right now. Uh, um, yeah, we can add some ice to these glasses. I feel like this should be maybe more thick. You want more ice cream in there? Yeah. Don't give me more ice cream. So how is everyone's favorite drink? How, how does everyone like to drink their butter beer? Oh, it's or, already in the comments. <laughs> Everyone's saying frozen. Um, I, I like the frozen. Yeah. I, like, I tried the hot once and I really enjoyed the hot. The butterbeer ice cream at Diagon Alley is really it's good. It's so good. If you haven't tried just a straight up ice cream, mm -hmm. it's very similar to like a butter, like kind of probably this is, but. A I always give quality. myself brain freeze when I drink frozen drinks, and I hate that. Like when I was drinking the Toronto Politan, I got one. Where did I put the lid for this? <laughs> oh, in the sink. Yeah, I think the hot is under <laughs> The problem with the hot is you're getting it in Orlando. And you don't yeah. necessarily want a hot drink in Orlando. This is still very liquidy. Hmm. Mm. Well, that's fine. I think it's the ice cream in all honesty. I don't normally buy Briar's ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> So let's do, what do you want? You want to do an ounce of yeah. rum in each? Or you want to do a little, an ounce and a half of rum? You can do an ounce. Or you can just do an ounce in mine. Okay, I'll do an ounce and a half in mine. I'm going to crack open the wine pretty soon. It's a sad, Ooh. sad night. <laughs> yeah, we should have been in bed getting ready for our wedding day tomorrow morning. That's where we should be right now. We should be sleeping. I wouldn't be sleeping. I'd be so stressed. <laughs> Yeah, because what was the plan? Get up at like 6 a.m.? Yeah. I'd, or I'd have like a face mask on. Let me put a little more on. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so I got the rum in there. We're gonna add the cream sodas. Cassidy says they normally only have hot for the colder months. Yeah. So you know what? We can get it in December. Yeah, maybe we should put another bottle of cream soda in the fridge. Mm, it's okay. What do you think? Should I stir that around a little bit first? Yeah. Let's get the straws out. We would be getting ready for mimosas, Abby. You are right. <laughs> All the mimosas. Abby was going to be on a mimosa duty. Oh, well. here we are. <laughs> In an alternate world. That's where we would have been. Alrighty, we'll put our ice cream on top there. Um, Zach says butterbeer is the one thing I miss about Universal. It's interesting how that happened. One yeah, of them, one of them looks good. One of them layered and one of them didn't. Huh. Weird. Okay, shall I try it? Mm -hmm. This one was gonna be mine. This and one? that one's yours. Yep. 
your cousin says, Damn, Steven, can't believe you were gonna be married. <laughs> Time flies so much. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, that is delicious though. It tastes like it. That might be one of the best things yeah. we've made so far. That tastes very close it to it. It tastes actually. exactly like it. I'm gonna try. Yeah, I think I'm gonna drink it without a straw. Yum. Yeah, that foam. That that was a good call on doing the ice cream like that. That actually tastes so good, guys. So another place I got the inspiration for this, and I just want to do a shout out to them because I know they're going through a hard time right now, is actually the Stormcrow Tavern. If you guys haven't been to Stormcrow Tavern, um, it's like a nerd bar in Vancouver. I believe there's also one in Toronto. Well, there was. I think it's called the Manor in Toronto. Yeah, Stormcrow Manor or something. Yeah. In Toronto. Um, so there was two in Vancouver, and that was one of our favorite places to go. We wouldn't go very often because it was kind of, uh, it was far away. It was a little bit more expensive, and the service wasn't great. But it was such a cool place to go, and like a nerd place, and there's board games and stuff. Um, we had two locations, but the one in Commercial Drive unfortunately announced a few days ago that they're closing permanently. Um, because they're closed right now, so due to COVID-19, but they said that that Commercial Drive location won't be reopening. So there's only gonna be one in Vancouver, unfortunately, after this, so. Um, make sure if you're ever in Vancouver, check them out. They are a great bar if you're mm -hmm. into nerds. So fun. and fandom and stuff, but they have a butterbeer on their menu and it does actually taste very similar to this, I think. But this is actually fantastic. This is I recommend good. everyone try to make this at home. Yeah. The way that we did it, layering. And also, like, you can make it with root beer as well, and I think it would be just as good with root beer. Honestly, I feel like it could be stronger still. I feel like I could put more alcohol in it. <laughs> maybe we'll, oh no, we don't. I was gonna say, maybe we'll make a second one, but we don't have any more of the schnapps. <laughs> Every last ounce out of that. Uh. Okay. So yum, now, yum, yum. That segment is done, and this is delicious. 10 out of 10 would recommend you again. Uh, we're gonna do the treasures portion of the show. Um, I can not claim Disney treasures tonight because these aren't Disney treasures I'm gonna show you guys actually. So we're gonna show you our Harry Potter treasures. Ooh. Um, so we can start here with the wand. This wand my brother gave me, this is the other wand. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all seen the wands if you've ever been to Universal Studios. Uh, it's very nice, it's very detailed, I like it a lot. Um, the next piece I'm going to show you guys here, this is a Dementor figurine that I got. And let me actually take the case off of it. Push these bar caves to the side. Yeah. So it's in a case. Oh, let me get this case off. Oh. There we go. So look at that. It's beautiful. This piece can actually come off on its own. Very, very nice. I like this piece a lot. I know Anita got this for me. I believe for my birthday. Christmas. Christmas? Two yeah. years ago? Three years ago? It's one of your Christmas gifts. Yeah. So I love that. But the thing that I really like, uh, I'm going to need a little space to show you guys because these are beautiful, is these illustrated versions of the books. So if you haven't seen these, these are awesome. You can buy them at Costco. Um, Indigo. Yeah, any bookstore. But they Chapters. have... R.I.P. Let me try to show you. So they have just like <laughs> illustrated pictures throughout the book. Um, so this is the Philosopher's Stones right now. Uh, let me try to find, like look at that. That's beautiful. beautiful. And it's got the whole story in it. The whole whole book. Diagon Alley, like a two, like a four page long picture of Diagon Alley here. Let's show them. Then you go over to the next page and it keeps going. Um, but yeah, so I currently have the, all the ones that are released. So we got Chamber of Secrets as well. Oh, let's just flip to some random Oh, page. that's creepy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that, though. Full two-page spread. Mm-hmm. There's just so many pictures in them. They're so nice. There's some scary spider photos in here. Oh, I know there's a big one of Aragorn yeah. somewhere. Let's find it. No, it's not. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Evan wants to know what's your fave book and fave movie. Um, I think my favorite book is Goblet of Fire. Interesting. 
I love that book. I <laughs> No, no, no. Look at there oh, you go. Stop. Are you scared of spiders? Sorry, Evan. I, I can't. Okay, I'll put it away. I know, okay, I know Evan's stop, scared stop. of spiders too. Uh, yeah, I love the Goblet of Fire book. I just thought it was so detailed <laughs> and it had so much. See, they say no. No, no, no. I need to stop him. <laughs> um, but I honestly, and this is, oh, like, look at that. The buck, like, buck beak and all the hippogriffs. Yeah. This is. Evan ran away. <laughs> Evan, it's gone. You can come back. But my favorite movie is probably the last one, in all honesty. Yeah. Um, Deathly Hallows Part 2. Because I felt like that was the one that got... Either, honestly, I would say the last one or the first one. Because um, the first one... Oh, I like the Marauder's Map here. I think I really like Prisoner of Azkaban. I know. That's everyone's favorite. It's always but... stood out to me. Um, one of the ones that I was most impressed with was probably the Order of the Phoenix, the movie. Yeah. Because that book, I hated. <laughs> I thought that book was so boring, so unnecessarily long, and I thought they did a really good job of trimming that down for the yeah. movie. But yeah, I felt like the seventh one, like the lat or the eighth movie, was the most accurate to the book, and the first one, or oh, like That's the uh, Quidditch World Cup here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the and the. Philosopher's Stones was probably the most accurate to the books, which is why those are my favorite movies. Um, oh, look at that. So nice. But yes, I highly recommend if you want to get these books, I would highly recommend. Costco usually sells like a box set of all of them now, I think. I, th I know I've seen the box set of the first three. I haven't seen Goblet of Fire. Goblet of Fire is new here. This just came oh. out this last year. Um, they haven't released the rest in the series yet. They've been doing one about every two years, I want to say. Every year, every two years. Mm -hmm. so, they have yeah. a lot of really interesting Ooh, expansion books as well. Like the battle books. between Harry and Voldemort with the uh, all the spirits coming out of the wands. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay. Uh, let me come around to the front here. I think that's going to do it for us for tonight, guys. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm actually not quite sure what I'm gonna make tomorrow. We had a plan of making a drink that was gonna be on our menu for our wedding. That was gonna be our signature cocktail, but we can't find some of the alcohols required for it. Um, so we're gonna make a drink tomorrow. I'm not sure what it'll be. Uh, going forward, I'm only, I think I'm probably only gonna do a cocktail tomorrow night and Tuesday night, and then I might go to doing Cocktail Corner two or three times a week. Uh, I started a YouTube channel, so make sure you guys check it out, Cocktail Corner with me next Steve. I'm gonna be uploading these videos all in there. I've been gradually doing the last week or so of them. Um, I had only really planned on doing Cocktail Corner for two weeks or so, and this is gonna be week three that I've been doing it now. Um, it really just started out as something fun for me to do because I was bored. I thought I had two weeks off work and it kind of evolved into something more now. And I really enjoy doing it, but I don't have the energy to do it every single night going forward for the rest of my life, <laughs> not the rest of my life but for the time being. So yeah, I think we're going to try to go to like maybe two or three episodes a week and I'm going to upload them to YouTube. So I'm not going to be doing the Instagram lives after Tuesday. Um, we might have some guest hosts. I know if, any of you guys who like watching it and feel like hosting one night, let me know. I can hook you up with the account and you can go live and host a episode if you want, or you can you guys can host or post a video for me and I can use it on the YouTube. Um, but yeah, go and subscribe to YouTube because eventually everything's gonna go to YouTube and I'm not gonna be doing the Instagram live anymore. It's just gonna go straight to YouTube. But yeah, I think that'll do it for tonight. So we'll see you guys tomorrow with something and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.